there have only been four simultaneous double champions in the UFC. Conor McGregor, Daniel Cormier, Amanda Nunes, Henry Cejudo. And today I present to you a fighter who I genuinely believe will not only join this elite group of people, but surpass them and achieve something no one has ever done before in this sport. Become the first simultaneous free division champion. Now I've seen people mention online on how Alex Pereira can become the first triple champion but no one's really made an in-depth video which is why I'm here today. Three divisions, three different game plans. If you miss out on one then the whole game plan falls through. So let's first start off with the lightest division, middleweight. Yeah, what's, what's the craziest thing that you have done to make weight, so cutting weight? No, you this. already have it. You have to tell us those are the rules. Oh, uh, man. Ah, uh, fuck. Hold up. Fucking hell. <laughs> okay, all this, you know you have to tell oh, us. Like, you can't, you can't do this pause. I know. I, I was trying to. I, I feel like to... I know so much about you yeah. now. <laughs> what is the now, crazy try, thing you did? To, what kind of I put the, I, I, I busted a nut to make weight. <laughs> Now, the middleweight division is a shit show, let's be honest. You have Drickus Duplessis, one of the worst champions of all time in the middleweight division. I will stand by that, I don't care. You have number one ranked contender Sean Strickland, who has, while he had the belt, has been constantly saying, oh, I don't care about the belt, this means nothing to me, nothing to me. Now he's fucking crying for another title shot. You have Israel Adesanya, who is now falling off as we speak you have Robert Whitaker who is fighting Hamza Chimaev Hamza is fucking every fight he pulls out you, you have Cannoneer and Vittori Vittori is as Cannoneer is kind of going on this slight downfall hopefully bounces back the only person I see good is Kyle that's the only one I see that like has some sort of potential in this division everybody else is just it's just ass. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to tell you. It's just ass. Whitaker still has some kick in him. But other than that, it, everybody's just ass. Plus, add on top of that, Alex Pereira already claimed the middleweight strap all the way back in 2021, I believe. 2022, something like that. The hardest thing about Alex Pereira uh, obtaining the middleweight belt now is going to be the weight cut. His old body has gotten used to the weight of the light heavyweight division, so him going down might potentially leave him chinny. I mean, we saw in the Israel Adesanya fights in that first fight, he got wobbled, second fight, you know how it ended. So that might be my only worry. But if he fights Drickus Duplessis, I'm not even sure he's gonna get hit. If Drickus Duplessis comes running at him, not a care in the world. Alex Pereira is going to annihilate him. Absolutely annihilate him. But Alex has said that he first needs to let Sean Strickland do his thing because supposedly Sean Strickland is getting another title shot. That's what Pereira says. So Pereira says, all right, I'm going to leave the middleweight division. But in a hypothetical world where that is not the case, Pereira goes down, smites Drickus Duplessis round one kills him completely kills him this loki even though he already has obtained this belt might be the hardest belt to obtain again obviously like heavyweight he already has it and heavyweight it's either between john jones and aspinall but middleweight that weight cut man he was looking if you look back look back at his previous fights he was looking like a skeleton on way in day i get like from weigh-ins to the fight, he has like 20, 30 pounds, but still, man, how old is he? He's like 36, 37, him cutting all that weight down to fight a wild guy like Drickus Duplessis. I get Drickus Duplessis could knock him out, I understand that, but I will still back Poatan no matter what. I genuinely believe that if he goes down and hopefully if the weight cut goes well he's smoking drickus easily in summary for the middleweight belt all he has to do is survive the cut let's talk about 
the tier up light heavyweight all he has to do is just keep going yeah, for the light heavyweight division, there really isn't much to say. I mean, as I said, just keep doing what you're doing. He's already the champion. There are talks right now about him maybe fighting Ankalaev in a UFC 310, him saving another card. Ankalaev has been pushing for it heavily, but I'm sorry to tell you, brother. He's the champion. He picks his shots. So I'm not sure really what's going on with that, but I think all Pereira has to do is just defend the belt against Ankalaev. After he does that, I think he can go tier lower middleweight, tier higher heavyweight. Now I understand Ankalaev poses the most amount of threat against him since maybe Jan Blachowicz, but I still think he gets it done quite comfortably, I'm not gonna lie. Plus Ankalaev has said multiple times that he is not going to take him down and that he is going to knock him out now i understand fighters talk shit to build up this confidence and everything they're saying might not be true i mean we saw that with jan blachowicz he literally said he's not gonna shoot a takedown 20 30 seconds in he is diving for the crotch so we will see i mean other than uncle live there's literally nobody else in the top five top ten uncle live Obviously, that's the fight we are talking about. Prohatska he beat twice. Hill he beat. Blachowicz he beat. Rakic he didn't, but Rakic lost his last fight, so he doesn't deserve it. Khalil he beat. The other ones that are left are Volkan, Nikita, and fucking Johnny Walker. And nobody wants to see that. So, he beats Ankalaev. And then I think the UFC are setting up, realistically, they are trying to set up his heavyweight title shot, which is the division we are gonna talk about next. Now for the heavyweight division, I'ma just tell it straight. Good luck. I'ma explain why. Now the heavyweight division right now is very, very, very interesting. John Jones, who hasn't fought in two years, and Sipe Miocic, who hasn't fought in Lord knows how long, are currently fighting for the belt, while Tom Aspinall has his dick in his hands, watching from the sidelines. So. Realistically speaking, Jones versus Tipe happens, both of them retire after that fight. Since Aspinall already has the interim belt, him and Alex are gonna go at it for the real heavyweight belt. And for Alex, I think this fight is genuinely the hardest out of any other fight in the three divisions we've just mentioned. I don't think he's gonna fight John Jones because John Jones is already getting clowned on for not fighting Aspinall and him fighting Pereira with Aspinall still active is just it's just career suicide at that point so he should just retire after that I don't think he's gonna fight I don't think he's gonna take that super fight but anyway for Pereira to go against Aspinall Aspinall is a big I know I get Pereira is a big dude Aspinall is even bigger Plus, Aspinall on multiple occasions has said, yeah, first 20 seconds, first 10 seconds, first 5 seconds, I'm shooting for his legs. Which I respect. I respect he clearly knows his strengths and the other man's weaknesses. But that's not a good sign for Pereira. And if I gotta be honest with you, as a Poetan guy myself, as a fan of Pereira, I like Aspinall too, but I'm more of a fan of Pereira. Genuinely, I don't see a world where he wins that fight. Genuinely. Unless he comes out next fight on some jujitsu fucking Daniel Cormier just picking dudes up and dumping them on the ground. I don't see a planet where he wins that fight. But the reason I'm making this video is because anything is possible. If Max Holloway can get laid the fuck out anything is possible ladies and gentlemen and that is my plan for alex pereira to achieve triple champ status beat uncle live to retain the light heavyweight strap go down for drickus duplices and quickly get that belt and then go up for tom mother fucking ass pinnel if you like the video, subscribe. I've been bleeding subscribers like crazy because I unlisted a bunch of videos. But yeah, I'm back and I'm better.